Hi, I'm Graham Shaw and I'm here with Professor Gail Tahar, who is testing whether high frequency sound waves can be used to treat bone cancer pain in a clinical trial at the Institute of Cancer Research and the Royal Marsden. Gail, can you tell me about the trial? The clinical trial that we've just started is for the treatment of pain that's associated with secondary bone cancers. This can be very debilitating, can affect the quality of life of people who have a lot of cancer burden. What we're trying to do is to burn away the nerves on the surface of the bone. So we're using high intensity focus ultrasound, also known as HIFU, to treat the pain associated with secondary bone cancer. How effective do you think using sound waves could be for treating cancer? So far we've treated five patients of the cohort of 15 that we intend to treat in, in this pilot study. It's very early days and we don't have the full responses yet but it seems that the patients are getting a very good reaction to our, to our treatment with good pain relief. The exciting thing about this is that it can be done just in one treatment. The patients can come in as day patients. They may need a general anaesthetic. We will put them in the MR scanner, target the tumour, burn it, monitor the treatment, and then the patients can go home again. And there's no build-up of toxicity. We could do the treatment again at another stage if we want to. If the trial proves successful, what will be the next steps for developing this treatment for patients and who do you think could benefit? Once we know that, that, that what we're doing with the bone pain trial is, is working, we'd like to go on to use HIFU to treat a wider range of cancers. For example, we would like very early on to be treating gynecological cancers, pelvic tumours, in young, often young women for whom there are no other treatments. We'd like to do some work with sarcomas, and then there are other tumours that are, we could possibly treat, the breast or the kidney or the pancreas. Professor Gail Tahar, thank you very much.